Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class called From Blah to Ah. It is a coffee cup style heat yoga class. It's exhilarating. It will shake you up and open you up and open up, wake up the cells in your body. For this class, you may need, but you don't have to have one. You may need resistance, one weight, a dumbbell or a kettlebell. And the exercises are done just fine without the weight. So if you have the weight, bring it. If you don't have it, no worries. It will be just as challenging and strengthening with or without the weight. And for the rest of this program, which is January Total Fitness Yoga, I'll see you here and I'll see you on my website where I will upload the entire program. The program in its entirety, it will be a lot of fun. It will strengthen you inside, from the inside out, inside out. So I'll see you there. I'm very excited for the entire program. And remember to flow with strength and ease. front of the mat. Roll the shoulders back and down, lift to the crown of the head and we're going to inhale the hands over the heart, pull the belly in and find strength in this alignment, upright alignment. Find balance. Shift your weight onto the right leg and breathe here standing on the right leg. You can lean to the right and just explore the boundaries of your balance. Engaging the core as you shift your weight. And warrior three. Breathe. Inhale, coming up to standing, reach over to the front with your left leg. You can turn your heel in slightly so you're engaging the inner thigh rather than the hip flexor. And slowly warrior three again. Neutral spine, so don't round the back. Moving into a leg lift. Engage your core. Warrior three. Level the hips. You can keep your standing knee bent. Breathe and find length in the spine. And come up. Great. Step it back. High lunge. Lower it down. Reach back. Open. I said this is going to be a coffee cup, so all these poses are really opening up the energy waking up the body from here one move give it a go revolving half moon so set your gaze where you're going and place your left arm down right arm up lift your back heel and step it back high lunge left hand on the floor twist Breathe. Rolling onto the other edges of the feet. Open the chest. Great. Step it at the front in yogic squat. Use your elbows to open up the inner thighs. We're waking up the entire body today. Feel how your breath is moving into each and every cell. Imagine that like a beautiful graphic prana moving into the each and every cell of the body great so coming up to standing find the balance find the equilibrium and we're going to shift the weight onto the left 
leg spread the toes wide open take the right leg off the floor you can lean over to the left and feel that how much this requires you to snap into the moment balance be here be in your body Warrior three. Level the hips, press that back heel away from you. Lengthen the back of the neck, pull the belly in. Even feel length in the obliques here because the hips are moving away from the rib cage. Come up, lift the leg. Engaging the quadriceps as well. Warrior three, feel your muscles. Feel your body. Breathe as deep as you can, as deep as you can, as slow as you can. Lift, pull the belly in. High lunge, open the chest. You can lower the knee, low lunge, open the chest. And look ahead of you. One more, revolving half moon. Lengthen, pushing the left hip back, gliding it back. Lifting the back heel as high as you can. And let's bring the right hand on the inside. Twist lunge. And you can roll onto the outer edges of the feet. Look down, step it to the front yogic squat amazing big deep slow inhalations smile feel the softness and length in the back of the neck moving all the way into the skin of the head for lack of a better term and coming up all right standing at the front again shift your weight onto the right leg lean to the right and square the hips and now take a nice square warrior three Step it back, high lunge, hands in prayer twist. And coming out. Warrior three. Level the hips, spin the back. Put in, high lunge, really open the chest here, twist, coming out of it, yogic squat. So today we're focusing on balancing poses back bends and twists all the poses that wake up the body and the mind and the quiet the emotions and the wandering mind coming up to standing shifting the weight onto the left leg you can lean to the left and just work with that balance Warrior 
warrior thing. Level the hips and really use the glutes that you built in <laughs> in October. Use them to lift that leg. Step it back, high lunge and really open as if your heart is trying to radiate its energy into the universe. Twist. And coming out, warriors V, you can keep your arms overhead only if you feel that your back can support this. It's an advanced strength pose. Step it back, open. Twist. Coming out. Or you see? Step it back, open. Twist. Coming out and step it to the front in yogic squat. Breathe into your hips here. Into the lower back. Here we're going to shift the weight onto the right leg. You can straighten the foot forward. Take the left leg forward, bring your hands behind you and smoothly transition into one-legged tabletop and slowly transition to the same. And again, you can put your bum on the floor in between or not. One more. And reset sit down opposite side shifting the weight onto the left leg straighten the foot forward take the right leg forward you can spin the heel in transition into tabletop and lift tabletop and lift one more tabletop and you can rest twist twist yogic squat plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog right leg comes up opens up lifts up and drops down wild thing hips are lifting you can go into wheel aligning the feet forward so that you don't go too deep in that back bend and Reverse it into one legged down dog. Step the right foot to the front, high lunge. Step it on the right side and take the left leg in front of you again. You can Spin that heel in, it just feels a little better. 
you don't have to you can lift it forward warrior three again revolving half moon coming up to standing lift half moon straight coming up to standing lift the leg half moon step it back high lunge open exhale down plank to chaturanga to up dog to down dog take the left leg up open it step it back wild well, thing either stay here or you can go into wheel feet pointing forward so that you're restricting the depth of the back bend you don't want to go too deep and cheat the system you want to follow your anatomy and reverse it lift step it through high lunge come up to standing lift the leg revolving half moon lift the leg revolving half moon lift the leg revolving half moon and you can step it back and open plank let's take the weight if you don't have a weight don't worry about it just this is gonna be hard without the weight <laughs> here this would work the same way with a dumbbell or a kettlebell chaturanga push-up lift lift the weight into a triceps pull cross it over chaturanga push-up lift the weight cross it over a few more of those in the same sequencing your knees so we can move the weight out of the way and take plank jump your feet into plank jumps let's do 20 of those and then I have a little surprise for you after that <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten only ten more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and come up to standing straight back here we're gonna do a little nervous system repatterning with 
actually planning to start the whole class with that, but I had to start shooting a few times today. Today there is resistance in my environment to shooting. That happens often. So this is gonna be shaking. This may look silly or you may think it's nothing, but it's quite a nervous system repatterning, awakening your cells, allowing you to get out of the habitual way of holding your body and it allows your nervous system to have the ability, the chance to repattern. So it's very simple. You're just gonna be not holding yourself. You're going to start shaking like a shaman and you can bring head movement into it or even a little bit of slouching and arm shaking into it you can round and open you can bring sound into it or breath into it Molabanda, please so you're holding your pelvic floor when you jump that strengthens it now jump onto your heels lean back into your back body twist twisting the feet shake forward without a lot of holding there are more keep going onto the hills shake so hard that your cheeks are bouncing you can come to a still walk to the front and walk to the back bridging the shaking to this through the stillness to the movement now if you have time if you feel inspired to do so reverse go back in the video to the beginning of shaking and do it two three more times one time more you can never go wrong with shaking 15 minutes of shaking can completely rewire you you can come out of it with different emotions different mindset different physical state it's powerful primal movement somatic movement and let's look like ballerinas with grace it's quite the opposite of shaking stepping forward with the core connected lifting the leg stepping forward core connecting lifting really connect to the core walking back and forth and one more stepping at the front hands over the heart grab your dumbbell or kettlebell I'm gonna go for a few squats you can hold your weight at your chest level you don't have to have weight as I mentioned a few times 
push your hips forward one two three four five six seven eight nine ten step at the front right foot forward step the left foot back in high lunge take a white white stance here a white white lunge and lower down press the weight up lower down press the weight up three four five six seven eight nine ten just shift shift your perspective turn to the back adjust your stance and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten again shift to the front let's go ten more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten shift to the back one two this will better your warriors as well three four five six seven eight nine ten center we're gonna go to plie side to side shift plie pulses one two three four five six seven eight nine ten turn to the front step at the front plie again but this time make it wide squat one two neutral spine three four five six seven eight nine ten and lift the weight behind or down stepping in the front inhale reach exhale fold plank chaturanga upward facing dog hold it chaturanga downward facing dog inhale the right leg up either well thing or well thing to wheel so i'm gonna glide my hand to the right end of the mat so i can go into wheel on the mat if you have room don't worry about this and one legged down dog bring your ankle over the left right ankle over the left knee and walk your hands back to your feet here we're gonna squat down opening the hip hold it flex your foot I'm not gonna 
relax you too much this is a coffee cup so just energize you <laughs> if you want to get a really long stretching cool down just go to my cool down <sighs> great and walk to the front release take the left leg up and again you can walk your left hand to the right to just prepare yourself for for a wheel and reverse it take take your ankle over left ankle over the right knee sit back straight back here we're going to actually stand out of it come into a squat plow and jump it's a yoga burpee plow burpee plow jump plow jump interval yoga <laughs> at its finest jump 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 last one and we're gonna stay in plow for a few breaths you can tap on your calves hamstrings glutes very mild tapping over the kidneys so don't hit yourself just tap very mild tapping the skin more so than trying to get a big a big bang all right slowly coming out one more that's a forward bend right here happy baby so plow is a forward bend this is a forward bend a little more calming but this one is with the hip opener so it's also exuberant soles of the feet together bang down and as I said you can go for one of my cool downs and stretches or this is enough in my book every day we hit different muscles we work on different parts of the body so today the flexibility was included in the session you don't have to specifically stretch if you want to you can otherwise just enjoy the stillness of this moment immersing yourself in the moment and in the body feeling the body and letting the thoughts and the emotions wash over you feel see yourself feel yourself as if you're underwater but you're not drowning you're actually happily floating underwater weightless purified by the water free fluid cleansed empty of the clutter empty of the clutter and having an outer witness observing what's not from you that you carry around as emotions and thoughts observing it and letting it go not all thoughts and emotions we have are ours observing as an outer witness and letting everything wash out in the water as you float emptier and emptier freer and freer filled with love 
stay here for as long as you need to floating and filling your cup with love letting everything wash off that is no longer needed and allowing yourself to be in the body not in the head not in the thoughts not in the chatter not even in the feelings but in the body feeling the body and feeling your true inner self connecting with the truth of your inner being I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease.